Okay, factoring by substitution, let's take m plus one squared plus five open bracket m plus one plus six. Now, as you can see off to the right, I foiled it all out, combined like terms and factored it. We're gonna try and get that same answer. So let's make a different letter equal to the funny looking thing. Then put the letter we've made equal to the funny looking thing into the funny looking thing. So there's an m plus one, so I'm gonna say x squared. Then we have a five, we have an m plus one, so I'm gonna say x. Then we have a plus six. Then we just factor. So we get x plus two, x plus three, two numbers that multiply to get six and add to get five or two and three. Now we have to carefully take what we made for x and put it back in. So we have to substitute with brackets. Now, all those brackets are unnecessary on the inside, so we can scribble them out, but we're gonna see in the future why they're going to matter. So one plus two is three, so m plus three. M plus three is four, so m one plus three is four, so m plus four. Circle your answer, check your answer, foil it all out, foil out the question, make sure they're the same, or if you like the other method, do it, whatever. Okay. 4x squared minus open bracket x plus 2 squared. Now, this is just the differences of squares. It's hard to recognize it. But I'm going to figure out what's being squared. So we get 2x, that's being squared. And x plus 2, we already know, is being squared. So I'm going to make a 2x and b x plus 2, the two things that are being squared. Then I'm going to put a in for 2x squared, and put x b in for x plus 2 squared. Then I'm going to factor it. The difference is a square is a plus b, a minus b. Then I'm going to carefully put 2x and x plus 2 back in for x, substituting with brackets. So we get 2x plus x plus 2, 2x and for a minus x plus 2. Now, out of all these brackets, the 2x brackets are unnecessary. The first set of x plus 2 brackets are unnecessary, so I'm going to scribble them because there's a positive in front. But off to the right, we have a negative in front, and that's why it's important to substitute with brackets always until you fully understand why, etc. So 2x plus x is 3x. Then we just have a plus 2. Then we have a 2x, and we're going to distribute the negative. Minus x, minus 2. Then we're going to say 3x plus 2, and 2x minus x is x, still minus 2, circle your answer. Foil out the question, foil out the answer, or pick an x value, put it in the question, put it in the answer, whichever. Or look at the alternate method off to the right. So there's another example down below where you let a equal one funny looking thing and b looking another funny looking thing. Then factor it as you know how to factor by decomposition from the sections before. Then substitute all whatever a and b back in. Distribute all of those numbers and any negatives into the brackets. Then combine like terms, circle your answer, possibly do a final step. The example down at the bottom right is interesting x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus y squared. Well, what I can do is I can group the first three terms, first two terms. I know that now I'm factoring trinomials when a is equal to 1. So two numbers that multiply to get 9 and add to get negative 6 are negative 3 and negative 3. So x minus 3 x minus 3, carry everything else down, minus y squared, which is just x minus 3, all squared, minus y squared. So then off to the right, you'd make a x minus 3 and maybe b, no, you just leave it as y squared. So then we'd have a squared minus y squared. Then we'd factor it to be a plus y, a minus y. Then we would put a back in, dot, 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 and then combine like terms or not. Look at the notes. Partial factoring. Recognize when you can partially group something in factoring. The example off to the right and the bottom right is way harder. Because if you partial factor something, putting brackets around something, you're going to have to change all the signs and make sure that if you were to distribute that negative, it would be exactly the same as the line above. All right, that's factoring by substitution.